everyone this is Georgina and this is an overview of my bedroom and this is where I do all of my video taping creating and living <laughs> so as one of the first new videos on my new channel I wanted you guys to see where all my things take place and I'm gonna try to not make you dizzy so here we go so this is just a dresser where I keep you know my TV and my clothes and stuff um, this corner unfortunately is probably gonna always be in this type of disarray down in here and this little container I have let me get around it lots of yarn and that's not even half of it <laughs> that's not even a third of it this box here is a box that has photos and memorabilia over the years and I always like to keep it out in handy where I can reach it just so that I can um, when I get an idea for a project I can just reach for it and it's right there and then this here is a box that I'm going to it's a shoe box that I'm going to make into a container that holds all my cardstock papers that are five and a half by seven and a half this is a package that's supposed to be sent to my sister that was supposed to be sent to my sister like three months ago and I haven't sent it yet and this is just some randomness okay so I have two areas where I do things this is my most my most of my craft corner stuff here and then I'm gonna try not to make y'all dizzy this area over here is where my computer it's another desk where I uh, do a lot of my makeup um, and hair stuff and videotaping um, so this little setup this is an Ikea table and I have it I have the top actually sitting on top of a dresser I have lots of things in this dresser that please don't get scared when I open the drawers but <coughs> This drawer here is where most of my sewing projects and yarns and fabrics and things like that is kept. I know that it looks a mess. And then this here is more sewing stuff. These are all fabrics and then these are just, you know, things that you use. There's thread and, you know, a little bling and elastics and needles and just all kinds of stuff and then the bottom drawer I keep hair stuff so nothing exciting in there <sighs> my laptop this is how I record most of my, my videos with my webcam and I'm hoping to get a better one soon so we'll see um, and then this I keep some of my makeup in here and then back in here, I have this little Lazy Susan where I keep a lot of my, you know, things that I use on a regular basis. This is my toner, moisturizer. Um, this is a, fix, a setting spray for my makeup, brush cleaner, you know, stuff like that. And then this corner right here, where are my doll heads? This just has my lotions, my deodorant, perfumes and body sprays. This is here. I keep all the stuff that I use for waxing. Um, this is just a little, this little cactus I got for Mother's Day from my baby. And then this candle. And then in here, this drawer has my brushes. This drawer has um, when I color my mom's hair at home, this is the stuff I use for that. Color brush, hair clips, and then these are, there's bobby pins in here, hair ties, 
um, hair clips and more hair ties in there and then this is a junk drawer that I've just thrown things into that I have to find places home I'm sorry find home for <laughs> um, this is one of my makeup drawers this is another one of my makeup drawers more makeup and then in here this top drawer is for like um, my curling irons, flat iron, stuff like that. This has paper stock in it. And then get my guitar out of the way. Um, this has things that I need to hang on the wall that I've not hung on the wall yet. And then labels and stuff like that. This stuff... <laughs> is a junk drawer <laughs> so this is my balcony window and I will show you guys there's my balcony mm -hmm. and then this is a drawer a very tall drawer set that I got from Ikea which I am totally in love with I really want to get another one this is where I keep my ribbons, all my stamps that have wood on them, or these. Um, this is just randomly in here, but these are all my wood stamps that I like, that I'm going to be working with. Um, this is all my beading stuff that I like to have. Um, I do a lot of... Um, paper projects using these little newspaper rolls. These are magazine rolls. And I will be posting projects with this. Um, these are all my stencils, um, some wood chips, some fun foam hearts and stuff. These are I guess these are to make like cookie make cookie cutters, but I use them to draw out the hearts. This is my adhesive drawer, my cutters, and my ATG gun. <clears throat> this is where I keep my heating tool. Um, I have this um, embossing enamel. And then this is where I just, this is stuff for when I make my paper beads and a lot of ring and glitter. And then here I have a set of Project Life things, some manila folders, glue gun, glue sticks. And then, okay, and then I have my desk here, one of my desks. I have three desks in here. And this one basically is just to hold my stuff while I'm working. Um, I like to craft mostly here because I have everything handy here. Um, if I go this way, there are my drawers with all my stuff in it. This is my filing system. These things here, <laughs> mail and bills and things that I need to take care of. And then the bottom I use for my car cardstock papers because I like to be able to have them handy um, and then this box is stuff that I want to work on and get organized and here's my cardstocks by the way I got these different cardstocks um, these are a pack of a hundred sheets for it was on clearance for $3.99 which original price is $3.49 for this so I got a gray one and a multicolor one and a cardstock one. Um, and I already had these two. This is just cream and white. But anyway, these are the ones that I'm going to organize in that other shoe box that I showed y'all. So that's why I have this here. And then here's black stock paper. And this is actually bigger paper. I guess these are 
four and a half by six and a half, and this one is um, five and a half by seven and a half, which I really like that size. This is some scratch paper that I haven't, I don't know why I didn't put it away, but anyway. Um, and then this box, this old shoe box, is when I do a project, um, all the strips that I cut that I think I can reuse or use on a different project, um, I just throw it all in here. And then this here, this box here is for, I was doing a project and these are the things that I wanted to pull from. So I throw, whenever I do a project and I just pull things and keep them all together to see as I'm putting my project together. That's what I do. My paper cutter. I mean, I'm sorry, my score, my uh, scoring tool. This is a tub of scrap paper, of all the scrap paper that is too big for the other shoe box. And then this in here, I keep um, beads that I've made. And I will be making more. I really want to make more. Um, this plastic container right there just has it's just some random stuff this is I keep this for projects I like the cardboard boxes that I've taken apart okay so let's move to this I love this little tiny desk I got it from Ikea this drawer has a lot of the things I need eyelids markers 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 pencils Every marker I have is for something different. Crayons, color pencils. Um, this is another. These are my drawing pencils. Um, I have this poor lamp that's falling apart, but I still like it. And then I mounted my thing here, which I reach for all the time. Um, it's just like a desk organizer. So I mounted that there. And then here, I had bought one of these toolboxes a long time ago because I have a lot of little things. And so I put all my little things in here. These are safety pins, USB storage, plastic caps, um, clothes pins. These are the stick pins for the wall, um, paper clips, the metal clips. These are all ink pens. These are my um, Crayola markers and what else? Oh, some other specialty markers. Um, this says that this is supposed to be something different. It says that it's supposed to be cutouts, chipboard pieces, and stuff like that. And I got a whole bunch of rubber bands in here. Anyway, I guess I couldn't fit all the ones in here. Uh, staples. Cutting blades. I didn't even know I had that in there. Rubber bands. That's why the other rubber bands are in the other drawer. Um, these are eyeshadows. That I, I like to use these NYX blingy things on my some of my art projects. Erasers. And these are skewers. And I use these to make my paper beads. And then here I have... A whole bunch of like just wood sticks I use them to mix things with pull things out of containers with you know stuff like that highlighters markers these are the adhesives I use the most that's why they're sitting right next to me here's my pencil sharpener this drawer here has a whole bunch of like um, tags and cards and pockets and stuff like envelopes stuff like that here's another adhesive drawer again these are the ones I use the most so I keep them right next to me <clears throat> these are where all my punches are I really need to find a different way to keep them because this drawer is empty which is nice not too many empty drawers empty and here's where I have all my glitter I have another glue gun um, so that's that. Oh, here at the bottom of my big dresser 
is a drawer full of yarn. <laughs> Told you guys I have a lot of yarn. So this is one of those drawers. And then here behind my door, I keep... I just picked this up from Michaels. It was on clearance for $5.99. And it is to keep all your like gift bags and tissue paper and stuff like that. So mine is full to the brim. Um, then I have this little hanging thing up here. That's where I keep my necklaces, my water bottle for my hair. My wax machine is up there and just some other odds and ends. This is my bookshelf. I love this bookshelf because it holds a lot. This was from Ikea that I got a long time ago. So those bottom drawers down there hold all kinds of newspaper for making beads and roller projects um the bottom drawer has uh cards and stuff like that and then those two clear containers have a lot of paper in them um this here i keep for when i'm drying a project so that it dries well um, here are some shadow boxes I had bought on clearance that I'm going to be, that I want to eventually use. This is another Project Life thing. This is, again, I use this to set things to dry water. I have lots of paper bags. This is a mini album I was working on that I never finished. This is Tyvek. Um, some cork squares that I haven't put up yet that I don't know if I'm going to. Um, these are all the little things that I'm, I like to have handy and not have to search in a drawer for. Sorry, the lighting's a little bad. Um, <clears throat> embossing powders, uh, pens, thread, toothpicks for my beading or for my beads that I make. This is hair thread this is Mod Podge these are little pieces little cheaper pieces these are old nail polishes these are amazing for all kinds of projects these are my uh, Heidi Swap <coughs> um, color shine sprays and then this is another this is the cigar box where I keep all that stuff you know just random stuff in uh, my brushes <clears throat> I like to keep them in water <clears throat> this is honey I don't know why it's just randomly sitting there I had never seen this coke before I'm a big coke drinker so I really like that so that's why I have that there Honey, a flashlight for when the electricity goes out if it does this is my shrine to nail polish I love this polish um, and all of this was kept in drawers or boxes and I didn't know how much I had until I took them out. I have a lot. <laughs> I have a lot. I don't know why I have so much, but I do. Uh, nail polish remover, candles, chipboard pieces. Actually, these are little wood pieces, ta wood tags that I was going to do something with and I never did and now I might. Um, here in this soup uh, cup back here. I keep <clears throat> my knitting, um, not my knitting, my crocheting needles. And this is actually a brush cleaner. That's how I clean my brushes. And then up there is just books and stuff. And then up there, wine bottles and a work my son got, some piggy banks. Um, there's my baby. Um, this corner here houses my printer, my little sewing machine. Um, this box here holds all the things my kid didn't want to get rid of and I thought was garbage, but I thought, okay, let's put it in a pretty container. These drawers are a mess, but I'll show you what's in my drawers. <clears throat> this has a whole bunch of stuff. There's floral stuff adhesives and varnishes my little palette um just a little hodgepodge of everything 
things I've picked up that I want to work on that I've not yet worked on. Um, just all kinds of stuff. Here's some paper pads. Here's some feathers. Just all kinds of stuff. And then this drawer has all my paints. I don't have a ton um, because I figure I can always mix colors to make colors. So that's why I don't have a ton. But there's napkins that I'm going to be doing some projects with. Just all kinds of fun stuff. Balloons. Uh, I love these acrylic inks. Uh, they're not acrylic inks. They're acrylic paints. But they are amazing. They come. They're very vibrant colors. But anyway. Um, just all kinds of stuff in here. Oops. I just broke that. And then this drawer here. That I cannot open because it's so full. Has Christmas stuff. So all this is Christmas stuff, Christmas things that I'm going to be making. Um, and then here at the bottom is knitting stuff. So I'm just going to step back up. And that is my room. And see how I'm just surrounded by beautiful things available to me to make beautiful projects. So... Anyway, um, that is a tour of my room and where I do my crafting and videotaping and I hope you guys like, I hope you enjoy um, and I have been busy redoing this room for about three months because I can only do so much at a time. So until I see y'all next time, I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Bye.